Apex Gaming's tried to pull a slick one on us, but it's a happy surprise, like when you find a $5 bill and the shorts are about to wash. That never happens to me. Just like what's happened here with this controller company hardly ever happens. If you caught my best PS5 controller video, one of the aspects that I look at for each of the companies is their warranty policy. Not only the periodic time frame, but also the fine print. Does it cover things like stick drift? And lo and behold, Hex Gaming, who makes phenomenal controllers, had one of the shortest warranties in the game at six months. And they were pretty reluctant to increase this to at least the North American standard of one year. Scuff also had that horrendous six month warranty, but shortly after their acquisition by Corsair, the warranty was doubled to a year and you might be thinking that's what hex has done they finally are offering a one-year warranty au contraire mom for air they are offering a lifetime warranty but the way they went about rolling it out is a little bit sleazy i want to touch on that and also there is some fine print that could really make them not honor the warranty period <laughs> Alrighty, stallions and stallionettes, welcome to the Gamer Heaven. I am your host, AK40 Kevin. So doing a little googly search for Hex Gaming Warranty, you will find, of course, a sponsored link up top because it's Google. Gross, we're gonna skip right over that. These are the real articles, the organic search right here. And what Hex has done is just edited their original page from July 24th of 2020. So it seems like they've always had a lifetime warranty in place, kind of fooling your gaslighting customers into thinking, mm, they've always had a lifetime warranty. And I really wish that they would have made some kind of a blog post on their website saying we've listened to customer feedback kind of similar to what microsoft did when they quadrupled the warranty of their standard and premium controllers the elites from three months to a year but instead they kind of made it seem like it's always been they just edited not only the original uh, warranty policy page but also the faq pages where people might ask do i know if my controller's in warranty this one from may 20 of 22 lifetime warranty so they just edited all their old pages that used to say they come with a six year, uh, six year, that'd be kick ass, six month warranty. But we've got to talk about the fine print a little bit. The big things here, the key takeaways, this does cover stick drift, aim, and they only offer 45 days of stick drift coverage, which ain't, ain't shit. So lifetime here, but you only have 90 days of coverage for battery malfunction. So if your controller just stops turning on, that could be deemed as a battery issue. Vibration issues, interesting point of failure to not be covered. Controller main board problems. So your controller just stops working, they could just deem it either the main board, the motherboard, or the battery. But that's not really what concerns me here. What is not covered? Of course, misuse, slips, trips, falls, swinging this thing overhead like a lasso, things that are yank not not to do with a controller. But then we've got prolonged use, wear, and aging, which was very confusing not only for me, but also the members of my Discord brought this to my attention. What does this bullet point mean? So I did what any man or woman with a point of contact over there would, would do, and I asked them directly, what does this fine print mean? And I got an answer for us. So they actually changed the verbiage to prolonged use. Originally, when I sent the email, the verbiage that had some cause for concern was excessive use. What does that mean? My point of contact broke it down verbatim what they consider excessive use, forcible pressing or violent operation, excessive force, frequent dropping, or overly intense pressing of buttons, triggers, and joysticks during gameplay. So we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. And then this one makes absolute since unauthorized modification or disassembly, you shouldn't need to do any customization or modification because you're already buying a custom controller that's pimped out of its pajamas. But disassembly, if a face button gets stuck in or something and you decide, hmm, well, I've got a little bit of DIY knowledge, I'm a Gamer Heaven subscriber, I'm just gonna crack the shell apart and try and fix it myself. Don't do that, just go through the warranty policy so they don't try and dick you with this bullet point. But this one right here is again another catch-all like the battery and main board where they could just deem that you've been pressing your buttons too hard and that's what broke it. So that's a small cause for concern. Well, actually, that's a pretty big cause for concern is that little catch-all in there. Actually, three catch-alls, and I understand that they have to put those in there, but it really makes it to where you can't get super excited about a lifetime warranty when there's so many little catch-alls slid in the fine print that the company could deem operator error and just not validate your warranty. This is good news though, and they're actually sending out their newer version of the Phantom PS5 DualSense Custom, which I already reviewed, ranted and raved about the trigger system. It's the one with the adjustable top panel for a sort of stick drift fix, not 
the best iteration, but a cool feature for sure. There's now a version that has Hall Effect sticks and that bad boy is being sent out for review. Super excited to test that. Make sure you subscribe so you catch that review. Drop in the comments section below what you think of this new warranty. And I will see you stallions and stallionettes tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. So this information will reach and assist them as well. Much like the back of the TV, I've got plugs for all of my socials down there in the description below. And your wallet will greatly thank you if you check the description because there are exclusive discounts on a ton of products, including controllers, control freaks, keyboards, mouse pads, clothes, and energy drinks. And keep in mind that you, the viewer, keep this channel running. The more stallions and stallionettes trotting around the stable, the better. So molly that subscribe button like it owes you money and we'll have the same amount of fun tomorrow.